वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल लेट्स टॉक विस्की टूडे वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट बुर्कलाडी द क्लासिक लाडी बुर्कलाडी डिस्टलरी वॉज फाउंड इन एटीन एटी वन बाई हार्वी ब्रदर्स फ्राम एटीन एटी वन देर हैज़ बीन लॉट ऑफ चेंज इन ओनरशिप बट ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ नाइनटीन नाइन्टी एट टू टू थाउजेंड दे रीब्रांडेड देर विस्की एंड केम थ्री न्यू एटरेशन और यू कैन से three new line of whiskies from burkladi one burkladi which is unpeated whiskey and port charlotte which is peated whiskey and the third one is octomore which is heavily peated whiskey burkladi is the only distillery in isla that produces the whiskey from the range of no peat at all to heavily peated whiskies the difference between peated and unpeated whiskey is that the way they dry barley if they dry the barley using hot air then it is unpeated if they dry using smoke then it's going to be peated that is the reason why you get the smoky flavor in the peated whiskies like lagavulin 16 two distinguishing characteristics between burkladi and other distilleries of isla is that Burkladi is all about using Scottish barley for their whiskey making. At the same time, they use old school low tech Victorian era machineries to make their whiskies till today. Let's talk about Burkladi Classic Laddie. It's unpeated single malt Scotch whiskey. It is unchill filtered. and there is no artificial coloring agent added and it is 50% alcohol there is no age factor mentioned in here but uh, by default if it is a scotch single malt whiskey when you are putting it out on the market it has to be at least 3 years aged in the barrel before packaging as you can see the bottle packaging color is very unique and unorthodox and according to the distilleries this is the color of the ocean outside the distillery and uh, they want people to remember home whenever they open this bottle or sip on this whiskey without any delay let's see if the whiskey tastes as good as it looks in this channel we'll judge whiskey on three levels is it sip worthy ice worthy or shot worthy as i always say we are whiskey drinking people so we have nothing to do with the smell until and unless it smells like whiskey good enough for us it's just 3 years old and 50% alcohol which is 10% more than the regular whiskies you drink normal normally whiskies are 40% alcohol despite of having high alcohol percentage and not being aged longer it tastes fantastic one thing you need to know about the classic laddie is that this is not their original laddie the original laddie is the laddie 10 which means 10 years old so the la- this bottle is originally supposed to be 10 year old whiskey but once they release the 10 year old the laddie 10 the demand for this whiskey grew so high uh, they couldn't keep up with the market demand so they had to leave out the 10 from the label and they have to make it the classic laddy so that you know they can uh, do do new batches every 3 years and uh, despite of just 3 years old and having 50% alcohol this tastes fantastic now i see why the high demand the last episode if you guys have not checked out go check out it is pie burn it is 10 year old uh, single malt scotch whiskey and uh, that costed only 30 dollars but 
this is a fifty dollar twenty dollars more than a uh, spay burn and i see why this stays much better than spay burn and uh, let's see how it goes on ice You don't feel anything it's it's like you're drinking ice water with a hint of whiskey I'm sure that you know the shot is gonna be fantastic but um, just for the record great Great whiskey for sipping, great whiskey on ice, and uh, great whiskey to take shots. But I strongly recommend that you don't take shot of this whiskey because whenever you find a whiskey this good, uh, you need to enjoy its flavor, how good it tastes, and you need to take it sip by sip. And you don't want to waste good whiskeys on by taking shots. And uh, there you go. This is my analysis for the classic laddie and let's meet in the next episode with some other fantastic bottle until then stay safe drink responsibly live your life take care <laughs>